This conference will now be recorded. Welcome to the U.S. Department of Education Office of Special Education Programs Applicant Orientation for 84.325K, Interdisciplinary Preparation for Personnel Serving Children with Disabilities Who Have High Intensity Needs. I'm Dawn Ellis, and I'm the Competition Manager for Focus Area A, Early Childhood, and also Historically Black Colleges and Universities. And I'm Marianne McDermott, Competition Manager for Focus Area B, School Age. Slides in this webinar are for guidance only, and information has been summarized due to logistics of the webinar. Please read the entire notice inviting applications, the instructions and all other reference or related statutes, regulations, instructions, etc. Please review the recorded webinar titled Applying for the Office of Special Education Programs Dis Discretionary Grants for additional information related to submitting an application. The purpose of the interdisciplinary preparation in special education, early intervention, and related services for personnel serving children with disability who have high intensity needs priority is to increase the number and improve the quality of personnel who are fully credentialed to serve children, including infants and toddlers and youth with disabilities who have high intensity needs, especially in areas of chronic personnel shortages. Now, el eligible applicants for this competition are institutions of higher education and private nonprofit organizations. The private nonprofit organizations are those whose charge it is to prepare personnel at the master's education specialist or clinical doctorate level. The priority, 325K priority is funded at $10 million for 2019. From the $10 million, we hope to fund 40 awards. Preparing pre focus areas in 325K. A, focus area early childhood, preparing personnel to deliver services to children with disabilities, birth to five. And focus area B, school aged, Preparing personnel to deliver services to children with disabilities, 6 through 21. For the early childhood focus area, we hope to award 10 awards. And for school aged, we hope to award 30 awards. To be eligible for the interdisciplinary preparation, interdisciplinary preparation of personnel priority, Can we? Interdisciplinary preparation of personnel priority. The degree programs must be at the master's ed specialist or clinical doctorate level, except for educational interpreters. Educational interpreters are not required to submit an interdisciplinary application, though they are encouraged to do so, and they can submit an application at the bachelor's level. Special education, early intervention, and related services. And to be eligible, applicants can use up to the applicants may use up to the first 12 months of the performance period and up to $100,000 of the first budget period for planning. Scholars are enrolled in a graduate degree program that leads to certification, licensure an endorsement needed to serve IDEA eligible children with disabilities. Scholars come from two or more graduate degree programs, special education or early intervention and one or more related services or two or more related services. Scholars are completing shared coursework, group assignments and coordinated field experiences and scholars are able to fulfill service obligation requirements. The application package contains the Dear Applicant Letter, the Notice invi Inviting Applications, the Federal Register Notice, 
and the grants.gov system submission procedures and tips for applicants, the priority description and selection criteria, general information, and required forms. See the link. The federal, no the federal register notice contains the deadline. This has changed since last year. The deadline for this year is 11.59.59 p.m. on the due date. The requirements in this priority are the, re the programmatic requirements, the assurances, and the focus areas. A 325K application is funded up to $250,000 per year for five years. 65% or more of the funds must be used for scholar support over five years less the amount proposed, which is up to $100,000, for optional planning period during the first budget year, if taken. Thank you, Mary Ann. Now we'll go over the selection criteria. There are four main areas that the reviewers will read and score the application on. In addition to the four areas, there are two competitive preference priorities in this competition. The first competitive preference priority is available for zero to five points, and the applicant must pro propose the amount of cash or in-kind resources to be contributed for each year of the grant. So this is matching support. Competitive preference priority two is for novice applicants and you either receive zero or five points. And that's projects proposed by applicants that have not had an active grant under this competition, 84325K, at any point in the preceding five fiscal years, and that's 2014 through 2018. Significance of the project is available for zero to 10 points, and there are two um, sub-factors that the secretary considers when um, addressing the significance. The second area is quality of project services for zero to 45 points. This is where the bulk of the points for the application comes. So it's important to ensure that you are addressing each of the sub-factors listed under quality of project services. The third area is quality of project evaluation, available for zero to 25 points. There are four sub-factors under the area that the secretary considers and that the applicants will need to address. And finally, quality of project personnel, management plan, and resources for zero to 20 points. And there are six sub-factors under this area that the secretary considers and the applicant will need to address each of those sub-factors in the application. <clears throat> so once again, I'm gonna go back to the previous slide just to reiterate that there is a total of 100 points that are possible and they're divided between the four sub and the four areas as listed. For further information, also, yes, plus the competitive preference points that you can receive for a novice applicant or for the matching support. For further information and any questions, you can contact myself, Don Ellis, for Focus Area A, Early Childhood, or for HBCU, and Marianne McDermott for Focus Area B, School Age. We thank you so much for your interest in 84325K, and we look forward to receiving your applications.